welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be diving into the fascinating and complex journey of Fisher Inc., an electric company EV manufacturer that has recently filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. We'll explore Fisher's rich history, their various vehicle models, the challenges they face, and the significant impacts of their financial situations on investors and stakeholders. So let's get started. Fisher Inc. traced its roots back to 2007 with the founding of Fisher Automotive by Henrik Fisher and Bernard Kohler. Henrik Fischer, a Danish automotive designer, re-owned for his work on the BMW Z8 Aston Martin DB9, set out to create a luxury plug-in hybrid vehicle that combined high-end design with eco-friendly technology. The result was a Fischer Karma unveiled in 2008 and launched in 2011. The Karma was a groundbreaking vehicle for this time. It featured a sleek aerodynamic design and was equipped with an advanced powertrain that allowed it to run on electric power alone for about 50 miles before switching to its gasoline engine. This significantly reduced emissions and showcased a new direction for luxury vehicles. Additionally, the Karma's design included sonar panels on the roof to power the vehicle's electrical system, further emphasizing its eco-friendly credentials. However, Fisher Automotive faced numerous challenges. Production delays hampered the Karma's market entry. And once it did launch, it encountered quality control issues, a massive recall due to the faulty battery pack supplied by A123 Systems, severely affected the company's reputation and financial stability. The bankruptcy of A123 Systems disrupted the supply chain and halted production, ultimately leading Fisher Automotive to file for bankruptcy in 2013. Undeterred, Henrik Fisher returned with a new venture in 2016, founding Fisher Inc. This time, the focus was solely all electric vehicles, aiming to leverage advancements in battery technology and the growing interest in sustainable transportation. Fisker Inc.'s flagship model is the Fisker Ocean, an all-electric SUV unveiled in 2020. The Ocean was designed with sustainability at its core, featuring a fully vegan interior made from recycled materials, a solar roof to extend driving range, and a suit advanced safety and driver assistant features. The Ocean boasted a competitive range of about 300 miles on a single charge, positioning it as a strong contender in the outgrowing electric SUV market. The best part was the vehicle was met with significant enthusiasm, reflected in substantial pre-orders and a promising market reception. The Ocean was designed to appeal to environmentally conscious consumers looking for a blend of luxury, performance, and sustainability. In addition to the Ocean Fisker Inc. has been developing the Fisker Pair, personal electric automotive revolution, a small urban EV designed for city driving. The Pair is expected to be more affordable than the Ocean, targeting urban dwellers looking for a compact, efficient, and sustainable vehicle. Details about the Pair's specifications and features are still emerging but is expected to follow the same principles of sustainability and innovation that define Fisker Inc.'s brand. Despite the promising developments, Fisker Inc. has recently faced significant financial difficulties. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in June 2024, making it the second electric vehicle startup to do so in the past year. According to a filing with the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Delaware, Fisker Group Inc estimated as assets to be between $500 million and $1 billion, with liabilities ranging from $100 million to $500 million. For those that don't know, Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows a company to reorganize its debts while continuing its operations. It provides the company with an opportunity to restructure its business model, negotiate with creditors, and develop a plan to return to profitability. This differs from Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which involves liquidating the company's assets to pay off debts and seizing operations. Fisker cited various market and macroeconomic headwinds that have impacted its ability to operate efficiently. These challenges include production issues and lower than expected sales of the Ocean SUV. The EV market itself has been slowing down, with EV sales growing only 3.3% to nearly 270,000 during the first three months of 2024 a sharp decline from the 47% growth seen in 2023. This slowdown has led to significant price cuts and job reductions at leading companies like Tesla, reflecting broader industry challenges. 
The bankruptcy filing has significant implications for Fisker Inc.'s investors and financial stakeholders. The company is in advanced talks with financial stakeholders about debtor in possession financing, which would provide the necessary capital to continue operations during the bankruptcy process. This type of financing is crucial for Fisker to maintain its business and work towards a restructuring plan. Investors, including both individual shareholders and institutional investors, face uncertainty regarding the value of their investments. The bankruptcy filing typically leads to a decline in stock value, and the future of their investment hinges on the company's ability to successfully reorganize and return to profitability. In Fisker's case, notable investors include venture capital firms and private equity funds that have supported the company's growth and development. Fisker's Inc.'s employees are also significantly affected by the bankruptcy. The uncertainty surrounding the company's future can lead to job insecurity and potential layoffs. Fisker employs a diverse workforce, including engineers, designers, production staff, corporate employees, all of whom are crucial to the company's operations. And supply chain partners, vendors face financial risks as well. Fisker's financial troubles can lead to delays in payments and potential renegotiations of contracts. Suppliers that provide crucial components for Fisker's vehicles, such as battery manufacturers and electronic suppliers, are particularly vulnerable. The disruption in the supply chain can also impact the production schedules and availability of Fisker's vehicles. Fisker's Inc.'s bankruptcy filing comes amid a broader industry context marked by both opportunities and challenges. The Biden administration has been pushing for increased EV sales as part of their efforts to combat climate change. This includes incentives for EV buyers, investments in charging infrastructure, and strict emission regulations. However, rising inflation and economic uncertainty have made it difficult for many consumers to afford new vehicles, including EVs. The EV market has seen a rapid expansion with many new entrants aiming to capitalize on the shift towards sustainable transportation. However, the market has also become highly competitive, with established automakers like Tesla, Ford, and General Motors increasing their investments in EV technology. This intense competition, combined with supply chain distributions and economic pressures, has created a challenging environment for newer companies like Fisker Inc. This Zing's journey has been a roller coaster of innovation, challenges, and resilience. From the early days of Fisker Automotive and the launch of the groundbreaking Fisker Kama, to the revival with Fisker Inc., and the development of the Ocean and Pair models, the company has consistently aimed to push the boundaries of automotive design and sustainability. However, significant financial and operational challenges have led to the recent Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing. The bankruptcy process will be crucial in determining the future of Fisker Inc. It offers the company an opportunity to reorganize its debts, secure necessary financing, and potentially emerge stronger. However, the impact on investors, employees, and supply chain partners are significant and underscore the complexities and risks involved in the EV market. As Fisker navigates this challenging period, the broader trends in the automotive industry and the push towards sustainable transportation will continue to shape its path forward. We'll keep a close eye on how Fisker Inc. manages this restructuring efforts and what the future holds for an innovative battle for this company. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in the automotive world.